What's up, guys? So in this video, I'm going to speak about how I learned Spanish. Um, just a little backstory about myself. So I'd been studying Spanish since like seventh grade, and I'd been in the most advanced versions of the classes every year in school. So honors, AP, and college, I got a Spanish minor. But once I actually arrived into a Spanish-speaking country, I was completely helpless. Like I couldn't understand anything. I couldn't speak. Like I thought I knew the grammar and vocab and stuff, but like my brain couldn't fire and my mouth couldn't pronounce the words. So all of that studying was like almost useless. Um, and this video is for you if you do have some foundation in the language. The tips I'm going to give can definitely help, like regardless of where you're at. But this is really going to fast track it if you have some type of grammatical or vocab foundation. And I think learning a language is super, super important if you're going to be traveling to a country because um, I've traveled and lived in Spanish speaking countries for a good chunk of my life at this point. And just the experiences that have been available to me and the opportunities that I've had have been like thousands of times more abundant just because I can speak the language in comparison to someone who couldn't speak the language. Whether you're just trying to like live everyday life easier or if you want to make friends or if you want to date or whatever it is, like knowing the language will help you. And it also gives you a lot of respect from the native people in the country. Even if you're completely clueless and you suck at speaking the language, if you're making a genuine effort to actually understand the culture and participate in the language, your life's just going to be so much easier and people are going to really look at you in a different way. So how did I even end up in a Spanish speaking country in the first place? So it was my second year of college and I was applying for my first co-op and a co-op is basically just uh, a semester of full-time work experience that we do instead of taking classes. And I was just like spam applying. I wasn't even really reading the job descriptions or anything like that. I was just applying to anything that I could and I wasn't really getting that much feedback and I was getting scared that I wasn't going to get a job or something like that. But it ended up that I got literally the perfect experience for myself. So I was also studying Spanish. I had a Spanish minor that I was pursuing. And the one job offer that I got was based in Medellin, Colombia. And this was just amazing for me because I'd always wanted to travel. Um, I'd never been out of the country alone. And this was also going to help me with my computer science career. Like getting an opportunity that combines Spanish and computer science when you're going to uh, a U.S. college. It's just really, really hard. And I'm just so grateful that this opportunity fell right into my lap. And yeah, so basically I went to Medellin, Colombia to go work there. And when I got there, like I was just completely clueless. Like I said, like I was just, I couldn't understand anything and couldn't talk. And in this first month of being there, I made more progress than I did like in almost the, the past eight years of studying Spanish. Now, obviously like learning the grammar and vocab and stuff is super important and if you're just getting started like you do need to do the boring work but uh, i went through this period of like rapid acceleration in my learning and actually being able to use the language um, and the first way i did this was obviously just by immersion now obviously being immersed in the country is going to help you learn a lot quicker but there are some tips that i use that uh really helps me and i just want to talk about what they were and the first one is to like kind of make fun of the people that you hear talking and what do I mean by this? I mean to like imitate and mimic them. So a lot of the times when you learn or when I learned a word, I would kind of hear them say it, process it in my brain and then say it in my own voice. But this is not what you want to do. You literally want to like try to do an imitation of them. And when I first started doing this, it felt super weird. Like I kind of felt like I was making fun of them because I was like imitating their voice. But this is actually how you're going to get the pronunciation to speak the words. So really try not to like process things in your brain and then repeat it in your own voice, but literally just like imitate and mimic them. The second one is if you're interacting with someone who speaks both languages, so English and Spanish, and they're trying to explain something to you, tell them to try to explain it to you in Spanish. So don't just have them give you the English word, but have them actually try to explain what this word means to you by using Spanish. So like imagine if you're a baby, like trying to learn a language, um, you can't just like translate to the baby what the word means. You actually need to like explain to the baby uh, using the words that it already knows or like pointing or using gestures to make them understand it. And this is how you really internalize the language. So I would literally tell people to explain things to me like I was a baby. And, you know, it, it sounds funny, but by saying this, it really, really helps me internalize the language a lot. The third tip that I have is to basically always use a translate app, but to go a step further to actually take any words that you're translating throughout the day and then put them into a Quizlet, like flashcards online. So you're going to be using Google Translate or whatever translator app you use a lot. But the thing is that you actually want to internalize these words, right? So you don't just want to like translate something, get the definition, and then go throughout your day without ever actually internalizing it. 
And the words that you're translating in everyday life are actually the most important ones because they're the ones that you actually needed to know in the first place. At the end of every single day, go through your translate app and look at what words and phrases that you translated and then add them into a Quizlet or a, an online flashcard system so you can actually internalize all the words that you needed to know, but you did it. And then obviously just go through the flashcards every once in a while. Um, it really only takes a few minutes of going through it. But this has a super high return on investment, like for the time that you put into it versus the knowledge that you get out of it. Another tip is to not really convert things to English in your head. So there were some Spanish phrases that like don't have a literal translation to English. And I would like struggle, try to put it into English words to understand it. But you really don't want to do this. Like if you understand when it's used, you don't really need to have an English equivalent, but rather just understand like the context in which it's used and like what it means. Like just kind of like where is someone coming from when they say it and what message are they trying to get across? That's what you need to know. You don't need to know like what is the English equivalent. And one of the most important tips is to really just not be afraid to look stupid. Um, like it's going to feel so weird speaking in a language. Like you're, you're just going to feel weird. Just accept it. Um, and also don't be afraid of like being annoying. If you need to ask people a few times to clarify something. Now, obviously, if you're annoying them, like read social cues and stop. But most of the time, people are going to be more than happy to try to explain things to you. Um, and if you get stuck in one of these loops when you're trying to understand something, like, don't think of it as a bad thing, right? Like, you're just trying your best to learn and you're going to look stupid and it's okay. You're learning. And I actually have a pretty embarrassing story of when I made myself look really stupid. But looking back in hindsight, it's pretty funny. So I wanted to get a smoothie and I looked up on Google Translate, like, what's the word for smoothie? I remembered it and then I went to this shop and I asked for your smoothie. Um, and after that, people started giving me a weird look. Like there was this guy who started getting really mad and I was just like so confused, had no idea what was going on. And I just like kept repeating it, waiting for them to understand. Um, and it, I have no idea how this happened, but the word that I looked up for smoothie, like it meant ass liquor in Spanish. Like, I don't know how, I don't know if someone like hacked Google translate or if there was like a bug or what, but I was literally like asking for that in this little like fruit and smoothie shop. And I eventually like showed them my phone. And so they understood that like I wasn't trying to cause any trouble like that. But like, like I literally was asking for an ass liquor at a fruit in a smoothie store, like, like what the hell, right? And you know, you just need to accept that like some things like this are going to happen if you're trying to learn a new language and it's okay. Like this is how you grow up. Here's a little bonus tip. So there are these audio tapes by Michelle Thomas and Tim Ferriss actually recommended that if you're trying to learn a language, you listen to them. And they ended up being super helpful for me. And I actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I should probably start listening to them again because they're purely audio based, right? You're not like studying a worksheet and learning these words, uh, which, you know, because I studied Spanish for so long and I wasn't able to speak it, it kind of proves that it's not so useful to be able to read and write because you don't use that in everyday life as much. Like obviously learn it because it'll help you. But I would say the highest impact uh, type of learning that you'll get from, from trying to learn a language, it comes from like audio and repetition. And in these tapes, it's basically just like him going back and forth and you repeating it in your own voice. And this really just like, uh, like trained my brain to just be able to like naturally fire and say it quickly. And yeah, that's just some tips that I have on learning a language. Now, obviously, I'm no expert, um, not perfect at speaking Spanish, but like I'm able to survive and I'm like, you know, I'm able to live in Spanish speaking countries and, and get by. Well, um, and it's just it's just a cool thing to know. So if you're trying to learn a language, definitely like go and implement all these tips because I'm sure that it will help you. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed.